Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. A lot of people wonder if an EV can fit into their lifestyle. So, we've come to BMW's tech office in Silicon Valley to find out. So this office was founded 14 years ago. Um, it's the first office of an automobile uh, manufacturer here in the Silicon Valley to get this great spirit of this valley and figure out how we could apply these ideas, this spirit to our cars. But it's not only about the cars, it's about the whole use case, how to use these cars, how to integrate these cars to your home, to your building. So you guys want to walk through it first so you can kind of see the pitfalls and see what to expect so that you can change that or at least inform the customer, look, this is something to expect when buying an EV. Kind Absolutely. Of All right, so we're here with Klaus Heller. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. It's a pleasure. We're here pretty much in the kitchen of your facilities, uh, but this isn't just a regular kitchen. Tell me why this is here. It's not a regular kitchen, you're right. We, we have a couple of, uh, of smart appliances in this kitchen. That's all part of a smart home energy management system. The integration of an electric vehicle charging into that environment. Yeah, because essentially if people are buying EVs, they're buying a huge electric appliance. That's right, and, th and that appliance can draw more, more power than uh, most of the other appliances in your home. <laughs> I would say and, all of them, right? Uh, yeah. uh, maybe if you have an HVAC system, that, that's oh, okay, pretty okay. similar. But we go through the whole process that our customers would be going through, yeah. and, and that's where the learning already starts. And then we work on uh, developing uh, algorithms for the home energy management mm -hmm. or smart charging algorithms, all that stuff. So we're here with Pete Dempster uh, in front of the solar tree. We've seen the inside of BMW's smart home. How is renewable energy fitting into this notion of a smart grid? Well, actually, uh, what we're trying to do here and demonstrate here is that we can match a charging profile with the, the way that electricity is generated through a solar panel. Okay, let's say between 3 in the afternoon and 5 in the afternoon, you're getting a whole lot more sun energy. Then you could balance that with what you're taking off of the grid to plug into the car, is that kind of what you're saying? That's exactly right. Basically what we're trying to do is maximize the amount of renewable energy that goes into electric vehicles. With the solar tree, do you just plug the car in and just hope the sun shines and you're good to go? How do you monitor it and measure it? We've developed a, a tool that's web-based yeah. in real time. For example, we can see how much energy is being produced by the solar panel. Yeah. We can also look at the amount of energy produced versus the amount of energy used by EV charging. We can see right here that the energy produced over the past month is equivalent to almost 800 miles driven in the Activity. That's actually really impressive. I wouldn't have thought that. I mean, that's not a huge solar panel. Yeah. So all these efficiencies inside the home and solar charging and everything sounds great, but you gotta have a car to make it all come together. So I'm gonna take this thing for a spin. All right, so here we are in a repurposed one series. Fully charges up four to five hours with a range of about 80 to 100 miles. It's a BMW, so you expect this thing to drive like a BMW. For a car that's got a ton of batteries on it, it still feels really clean, really stable, right there in the corner. Sorry if I flung you around, <laughs> Pete. No, it's perfect. That's what you have to do when you're in a BMW. This is BMW's first real lithium-ion battery car. We have three battery packs in the car. We have one of them under the hood. We have batteries in the transmission tunnel. And additionally, we have some underneath the rear seat. There's this Eco Pro mode. When you need to go uh, 100 miles, for example, one way you can do it is just to drive in a, in a more efficient way. Okay, be conscious um, of your throttle and all that, okay. But additionally, you can press the Eco Pro mode, uh, which changes uh, both the climate settings um, and also the response to the accelerator input. The same method and architecture that we're applying to the in-car system is applied to our remote app. So the app will allow you to see from anywhere the state of charge of your battery, how much range you have left, charging stations, and information about them in real time. All right, that's it for our time at BMW's tech office, where we've learned how an EV can impact all facets of your energy consumption. And with this, you can manage it from anywhere. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.